All right, this is a little redo of a video I did several months ago showing various properties around the Hawaiian Inn. Starting here at the Hawaiian on this one and going to go to the north and take a look at some of the other properties. I've already done a video on the nice new seawall here at the Hawaiian. A few more people on the beach today. It's been kind of a ghost town this week. Work continues on the beach access walk over stairs for the Hawaiian. We won't be able to use those until the grounds are opened up, but at least it'll be ready for us when that happens. All right, so the Hawaiian seawall complete. Still working on the pools and the other grounds. Here we have the two private residences that are between the Hawaiian and the Tropical Manor. They, uh, their seawalls did not fall down, so I'm not sure if they still have work to do. Tropical Manor started doing a little bit of work several months ago. They haven't made a great deal of progress, but you can see somebody's working right there, at least painting. And they do have direct beach access. This guy just walked out that gate. Next up is the Akutiki. They had some hurricane damage you'll see in a moment. And they have one row, one layer of trap bags. No even like that gate that's hanging there has been hanging there since the hurricanes. Very little work has been done here. Next up is Perry's. Perry's was able to keep most of their stuff open, but not completely. I think they have a pool, an outdoor pool that's open though. It doesn't appear to be that one. And they have some trap bags coming up here that they haven't done any wall repair yet. They have a low wall to begin with. Here's their beach access stairs. This little thing I don't actually know the name of, 2139 I think is the address. They've had the trap bag since hurricane time and haven't done any more. And right next to them, this is the El Carib. El Carib has the trap bags and no other real progress. Got a fence on their property keeping people away from the old seawall. So, very little progress that is evident, anyway, there. Then comes the Silver Sands. I believe that's this one. Trap bags. Two layers instead of one. That's better. Yeah, Silver Sands 2119. And then right next door is the Beach Haven Inn 2115 South Atlantic. You see that they still have no access. I think they're just totally closed. Lots of work appears to be done on the units, or not lots of work, but lots of work needed. Here's the walk on access, still open. Right then, 2071, this is the Opus building. You can see that their seawall took some damage. They've got one little layer of trap bags and basically have done nothing else that's obvious anyway. So they have a long way to go. After the Opus, you have the Tower Grand. Tower Grand has the one layer of trap bags and only part of their property. So it looks, because there's a construction crew that you'll see in a minute, and it looks like they are starting to work on the Tower Grande. Or maybe they're working on the castaways. Yeah, it looks like they're working on the castaways, which is next. Or maybe 
us both. It's hard to say where one ends and one begins, but this crew, I believe this is Castaway's property. And you can see they've got the little trap bags and uh, fencing to keep people away from the beach. They haven't done much in the last several months. There's a group of trap bags coming up here, and as far as I know, this is a vacant lot. So I don't know if castaways would have done that to help protect theirs or whoever owns that lot. But they have one little row of trap bags. If a storm comes, which is entirely possible this fall, that's not going to do much. Still the vacant lot. So somebody put trap bags over part of it and then nothing over a big stretch here. Next up is the Grand Prix Hotel. The Grand Prix is starting to... Well, they are. They have somebody working there. They're rebuilding a cement seawall, it appears. Their pool is still closed. Next to the Grand Prix, I think this is the Flamingo Inn, and they have a new seawall. You can see the steel panels and the concrete cap. I believe that property is still closed, so that crew is up there working on probably a pool area. Yeah, that's what it is. I think this is the Ocean Beach Retreat. They have stairs, look like maybe metal stairs. And I think this is the Bahama House, and that is, um, they're working on a seawall. Not quite sure what their plan is there. It looks like a lot of wood, but they're doing something. Good for them. And then that's the boat of your Avenue ramp, which I think is just for service via, uh, you know, construction vehicles right now. Let these people get out of the way so I don't run them over. All right, here we go. This big building, I think, is Ocean Vistas. So they have not, their beach access is still not going. Uh, you can walk, to, well, you can't walk down that ramp, they wouldn't let you, but if you got to the end, there's no place to go except a eight foot drop. So their seawall survived nicely, the hurricanes, but they still haven't created their beach access. The yellow is the start of the Oceanside Inn. They call it the Daytona Prison. No balconies, nothing it's like yikes. Glad I'm not a resident there. They do have their cut through stairs. It looks like it's available and open to the residents. No work on reinforcing their seawall, but their seawall did not come crumbling down completely, so that's a plus. Next up is the Max Beach Resort. Their seawall took some damage, but not crumbling type damage. They have stairs, but no ramp, not a completed ramp. Most of their ramp is there, but they do have beach access stairs. That's an expensive building. They've probably got the money to get their repairs done. Next up is the Sierra Suites, and they've done a nice new paint job on their seawall, which remained basically intact. Can't remember if they had to redo their stairs or not. It looks like their original stairs. And there's a private residence. Again, somebody's put a one row of trap bags in front of what's basically a vacant lot. So something must be planned for that. Next thing you'll see is the old ramp, not rebuilt for the Holiday Inn. They do have stairs access, which is coming into your view right about now. So they have stairs, just no ramp. And their seawall took a little bit of damage. You can 
You see a little erosion right there in front of that blue truck. But for the most part, their seawall held up pretty good. Right next door, I believe this is the Beach House Inn. They put a row of trap bags after the hurricanes and they haven't done really anything since and nothing noticeable. There is a stack of pavers sitting there, so they must have somebody starting to do something. The Nautilus Inn, 1515 South Atlantic. Their seawall held pretty good. They do have beach access. And it looks like all of their amenities are up and running at the Nautilus Inn. Although, if I remember right, this is Nautilus Inn property here. So they had to rebuild this little seawall. You can see the steel panels. That's all new. And I think that's, yeah, that's their, still their parking lot. So they did have to do some work, and they got it done. Next is, I think this is called the Sunrise Inn, and their pool is totally closed. You can see the pipe sticking out, one low row of trap bags, no beach access. Well, maybe you can on this ramp if you jump the last two feet. Maybe so. I don't know if that's over there. They've got it closed. I can see it's boarded off. And then there's some weak seawall here. Cruising along, vacant lot, seawall broken. Next up, I believe, is the Catalina Beach Club, the blue one here. They have beach access stairs, new. Their seawall survived pretty good. Looks like maybe they've painted the upper part of it since then. So they're in pretty good shape, relatively speaking. A lot between them and the sea dip. Not sure where one ends and one begins, but that wall's in pretty rough shape. So this is the sea dip condo complex where everybody has a view of parking lots, which is awesome. But they are working on a seawall replacement. Not quite sure what the final seawall will look like there. I hope it's not made out of wood. But they're working on it. This is still sea dip here, so you can see they've got a tall wall. Looks like all the wood along the top is new. But the wall is a little bit compromised in my opinion. Not an expert. Another vacant lot. Here's the beach access right next to the Silver Beach Club, so Orange Avenue, Silver Beach Drive or whatever it is, I don't know. So this is the Silver Beach Club, it's a timeshare. Their seawall was in pretty much intact, but they haven't fixed their beach access stairs. They do have a ramp right next door, so that's a plus for them. I've watched this gouge in the beach grow over the months. The lot, empty lot here, but lots more erosion has happened. Coming up next is the Ocean Jewels. I lived there for a couple of months after the hurricanes. They've got temporary seawall stuff happening right here. But they are working on most of their problems. They're big pool or the pool right here has been closed since the hurricanes but they do have a pool a heated pool that is open and uh, they are working on rebuilding the seawall so their amenities were kind of half destroyed half not destroyed but their seawall was in bad shape so they are getting that done Francis hey Francis So here's a big open lot after the Ocean Jewels. You see that there's been some erosion and some uh, seawall degradation. Then you come to a couple places where there's a lot of seawall degradation, like right here.
Then the Harbor Beach Resort is next. Their seawall survived nicely. They've got their stairs back up for beach access. They have some issues that they're dealing with here on the right side. I think that's a more of a parking lot. But overall, they came through pretty good. This is Sunsplash Park, so they've got the stairs open, and I believe their ramp is also open. Their wall is not 100%, but it's up. That wooden railing along the top is kind of rough. And parts of that park are definitely closed, but it looks like this ramp is open. Although I'm not, yeah, you can get to it. So here's another, that's just a right emergency personnel. Then we get into a little commercial area here, Land Shark Bar and Grill. Their seawall held, their stairs were destroyed, but I can see, and you'll see in a minute, that their stairs are now repaired all new so land shark bar and grill does have beach access <coughs> which brings us to crabby's oceanside next they look like they're just ready to start working on their beach access but their seawall is intact private residence there I think. The blue here is the start of the Fountain Beach Resort. The wall looks a little rough but it's still standing. They have repaired their beach, well they are still working it looks like on their beach access stairs. Yeah, maybe not, maybe those guys are working on something else but their stairs look complete. Boardwalk in, the last one on this stretch that you can drive on. They've got their stairs back up and running. And that brings me to International Speedway. So that's it. All right, bye.